Now the slides are specially made for the cryogene tape transfer system. You have to open this packaging. And you can see where it says snow coat. As long as it's not backwards, you have the right orientation. And you remove the protective adhesive and then throw away the waste. The protective adhesive keeps this coating um, clean and uh, protected because that's what's actually going to be um, transformed by the UV light to allow for the um, sample to adhere really well. So let's set to the fine adjustment. Right. At this point we're going to use the tapes that are specially made for the cryogene system. You take this tab that's over the knife peel off the backing gently. If you peel really fast, it tends to curl. Peel it gently, throw away the rest, and put it over the knife like so, and then roll the tape on. Now to protect your fingers, usually I'll use the end of our brush to pick up the end of the tape so you don't put your fingers anywhere near the blade. It's very sharp. You don't know you cut yourself until it's too late usually. Advance the wheel forward on the fine setting, so make sure you're not still trimming. And what you're going to do is cut an 18 micron slice and pull the tape towards you gently and quickly so that you don't have any um, tape sticking to the blade, like this. As you pull it off, you should be able to get a nice section that you can put on to the slide and then roll that section on. Close the lid on the crouching really quickly. It doesn't matter how long you hold it, but if you just snap it once and release, that like shines a quick flash of UV light and that allows the, the stickiness on this specialized slide to bind to the cryo matrix and the samples inside. I warm it with my finger really briefly. You don't want to get it too sticky. And hopefully, what's left is your cross-section of a tomato stem. Um, I find if you pull really fast, you end up taking the matrix with it. Well, that's not ideal. So this you can either leave in the, in the chamber with everything else and kind of pile them up, or you can put it into a rack for saving in the freezer. So you can write your sample name in pencil. Remember if you use pen, your ink will dissipate when you do any kind of ethanol washes. You could put them into a regular slide holder, but I like to put it into one of these carriers because this will allow us to, to uh, do dyeing and staining and dipping into um, a big staining jar. Um, to keep everything cold, there's a freezer right next to the cryotome so that you can just walk right over and put it in. 